We are now shifting focus to Afghanistan, where the Taliban has slammed the United Nations Security Council for fresh allegations against the Islamist group in their latest report. The UN document has raised concerns around the Taliban resorting to its past form of governance before the U.S. invasion in 2001. On the 1st of June this year, the UNSC published the 14th report of the analytical support and sanctions monitoring team on Afghanistan. The details raise a myriad of issues the around details. democracy, governance and the country's most significant export to the world, opium. The report has drawn worrying conclusions over the Taliban reverting to quote-unquote exclusionary autocratic policies of the Islamist group's administration in the late 1990s. The observations further summarize that the al-Qaeda is reportedly rebuilding its operational capability in the country. The threat of terrorism is also said to be rising in the region, as both al-Qaeda and the tariq taliban Pakistan continue to have strong relationships with the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. But the Security Council's criticism does not end here. Their report elaborates on the successful eradication of opium cultivation after the extremist group imposed a ban in April of 2022. This has led to a significant increase in drug prices, profits of which are allegedly being pocketed by big farmers and traffickers. It is also revealed that a senior Haqqani Taliban leader is heavily involved in drug trafficking. A close associate of Taliban Supreme Leader Hibatullah has also allegedly revived his drug network in the state. An independent research by a UK agency has also published satellite visuals which support the UN report's claims on opium ban. The images reveal a staggering 99% reduction in opium cultivation in 2023, a year after the Taliban introduced the ban. On Sunday, the Islamist Emirate of Afghanistan released a statement quashing the UNSC report, calling it biased and far from reality.